Why do I feel like the deer is talking to me? What? Bear, deploying bear archer? Uh, uh, um, um. Don't, don't do it. Don't. Uh. That's rude. That's really rude. You can have that back. Here, this is for you. This is for you. <laughs> Security malfunction. Insert data sphere override. <sighs> Listen, man, we're in like the Swedish Alps. You don't have the right to bear arms here. What's up, guys, and welcome back to I Expect You to Die. So last episode, we got through another mission, and there were no problems at all, right? Everything went super smoothly, pretty much zero deaths. We got all of the souvenirs, except for the speed run, because it, it turns out it takes a little bit more than two minutes to get from trapped on the bottom of the ocean to rescue. But in between episodes, I've done a little bit of training, I've done some reading, I've toasted my sandwiches, so this episode, we're gonna kill that speedrun. Now to get this started, I need to be super quick right off the bat. I need to be pre-reaching because I'm gonna close this right away and now we don't need to worry about getting the water out because there is no water. Oh, come on, to begin with. There we go, that's good. You are going to fuel up. I'm gonna take this and... Yes, okay, we're moving, ascend. And got it, got it. Holy gonna need this. We're moving, I didn't have to do any of this. That's gonna explode, that's fine. You're good, you go away. Overheating, right, okay, we need a little bit of water to cool you down, and then once you're in the green, you're good. Uh, no, no, uh, crap, don't vent oxygen, don't wanna vent oxygen. Okay, let's not do that, let's not do that. Okay, there we go, come on, come on. I don't know if I should worry about the water right now, but I'm gonna get to it anyway, just because I can. Nope, nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, we're just gonna get rid of the water anyway. Good. Okay, that's good. So, I know this now. This is seven, uh, with, with a Q, with a, this is still impossible. Seven, two, five, three, Eight. Yes, yes, I had it memorized. It worked. Okay, um, I need you, and I need to open this, and then, eh, no, just shoot, shoot. If I lost time there, I swear to God. Ah, there you are, Agent. We thought we'd lost you to the wilds of the Caribbean. We're approaching your position now. Come on. Yes! Men of 47! And that's with all the dicking around. Years of hard work and dedication to the spy craft have rewarded me with a red metal scorpion. Still not entirely sure why. I, I think it's just the symbol of our enemy. I, I don't really get it. But either way, that's everything, right? We have all of the souvenirs. Mission accomplished. Operation Deep Dive was a tremendous success. And they said that the submarine coordinates that we got actually led us to some kind of hunting lodge? Operation Winter Break. Okay, do I finally get a bit of a the vacation? Are known for scenic vistas, prestigious skiing, and hidden hunting lodges. I'll give you one guess as to which one you'll be enjoying during your trip. Is it the hunting lodge? If you guess the hidden hunting lodge, you win the grand prize, which is a trip to a hidden hunting lodge. We believe Zor's working on a secret machine. Infiltrate the lodge and find that machine. I mean, I know bad guys don't make a whole lot of sense, but why is he hiding a giant secret machine in a hunting lodge? Okay, no, screw it. We'll, we'll see what's waiting us. Ooh, this is fancy. Why do you have a crossbow? You've certainly made yourself comfortable in Zor's private hunting lodge. I hear the agency is handing out lodges just like this one to any agent who finds the new machine Zor is working on. If I were you... I'd find that machine. So I can have a lodge of my own? Does it come with bear guards? I can't take the crossbow from him, so that's slightly concerning. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll get to it. I think I'm just gonna enjoy myself first. Ooh, 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 careful, careful, careful. There we go, that's the stuff. This is a lot simpler than every other level we've played, and at the same time, I just, I have no idea where to start. I feel like the green button is the place to start. Machine access restricted. Insert control cartridge. 
Every room has a sassy robot. Okay, uh, how about... Oh, that would have made things a lot easier. I didn't have to go and fetch a lock. Ooh. Uh, that's really a him kind of problem. Now, where do I begin? There's, there's just nothing here. It's just a regular place, right? Can I... Oh, oh. Ooh. That's not so regular. Uh, I don't have a code, but... I might be able to find one. Maybe a book has a code? Let's take a look through. The Essential Guide to Evil Taxidermy. You can have evil taxidermy? I had no idea. I'm gonna learn something really here today. This really is a must-read in the evil industry. Just shoot them! Common pitfalls of eccentric villains! <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's fair. Maybe he's trying to become a better villain. Seduction, the complete guide to espionage. Ooh, okay, yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll take that one with us. Could use a little bit more seduction in my life. I mean, I'm already doing just fine. Don't even worry about it. And then we have guidelines. Secret compartments. Oh, oh, can I? Maybe you have something. Saul loves frivolous secret compartments. Perhaps you've overlooked one. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's like a code if I burn the book, no? Not in a book burning, huh? Gravity crystals explained. Are these gravity crystals? What makes a crystal a gravity crystal? I feel like I shouldn't be touching these right now. You just just wait over there. What else have we got? Come on, come on. There we go. Gravity crystals explained. Oh, so we have red, we have green, we have... Oh, he was hiding the purples. I was going to say, we have blue, green, and red. We didn't have... Okay, okay, yeah. We're learning stuff. I'm just kind of gathering things right now. How about you guys? What are all of you? Graviton manipulation theory. Oh, he's working on some kind of gravity machine. Yeah, he's got a whole bunch of these. That seems important. So, I've uh, come here to read his books and uh, look at his photos. Wow, he really appreciates this desk. What did this say? There was something in here. Uh, toxic gas is flammable. Turn to open. Oh, that sounds important. Interesting. What are you? Door alarm triggered. Deer gas activated. Deer. Oh my god, it's deer gas! Can I extinguish. <laughs> oh, I made it worse! I did the opposite of extinguish. Oh no! We're good! Yeah, screw you, dear! So that's Zor's game. Fiendishly clever. Yeah, very clever. Using the whole pun on Never tear gas. A taxidermist. Listen, man, I'm not trying to cause any trouble here. I'm just trying to clean off my desk a little bit. Hmm, why would Zor have one of our training manuals? Our training manuals? What? Did I... Just throw a training manual in there? Weird. Okay, well, either way, I need... Machine access restricted. Insert control cartridge. Control cartridge, right, so... What was in here exactly? There are things in here. We have... A ball? Okay, I have one of Zod's balls. And, uh... Prototypes for the machine. Oh, these are probably going to be important, right? So Operation Golden Goose is going to make some kind of anti-gravity machine that will make the enemy forces float away, and then you just get all the gold, you profit, and then Machine Z needs three crystal cores. I got lots of crystal cores. I need to put them in, I suppose. Okay, that's all very important. You guys just hang out here on my desk. Is there anything else of interest in there? No, I still don't know what your code is. Oh, wait a minute. We do have some numbers. We have a three and we have an eight and a Z, which isn't all that useful. Okay, three, eight. What else? Maybe there's a number on the liquor bottles? No? Can I open you? Oh, I can! Okay, well, if you don't have a number, then I'm sure I'll find something to do. How about you there, good looking? You got a number on you? No? Okay, that's okay. Freaking imaginary numbers is just got nowhere. Like it's despised. Mm. 
gonna hope that I didn't need any of this later, but... Oops. Ah, uh, would there be anything out there, I wonder? If I just take you and... Oh, stuff can go out there. Interesting. Hmm. Oop, 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 oop. Sorry, bear. Maybe I need to light the candle. So what if I do something like this? There we go. Did that do anything for your room? Nothing? Okay. I am just gonna start burning this place down until a code makes itself visible because I'm getting really tired of hoping for something to happen. Sorry, Bear. So Sorry about this, buddy. It has to happen this way, all right? Do you have the code? Are you holding out on me with that crossbow? I'm willing to bet you are. Uh, are you good looking? You got anything for me? Nope, nope, nope. I am so confused. I can't get this painting to come back, but there was a painting there with this weird special ball. So clearly this has some thing to do. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's a mistake. Six. We have three. We have eight. We have six. I'm willing to bet the order was in that photo that I threw in the fire. Everything is on fire. Okay, hold on. I'll I'll get it. Yeah, you see, it's still good. Three, eight, six. All right, we figured it out. Three, eight, six. Uh huh. Ooh, what do we got here? Crystal resonance report. So you have a long wavelength. You have a short one. Medium, unstable frequency is purple. Purple bad, okay. Why would they keep purple in secret then? Interesting, there's a whole bunch more stuff in here. We got another lighter for some weird reason. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. You need to go, eh. Control cartridge accepted. Voice authentication required. Why do I feel like the deer is talking to Deploying bear archer. Bear, deploying bear archer. Uh, uh, um, um. Don't, don't do it. Don't. Uh. That's rude. That's really rude. You can have that back. Here, this is for you. This is for you. <laughs> Security malfunction. Insert data sphere override. <laughs> Listen, man. We're in like the Swedish Alps. You don't have the right to bear arms here. Oh, there's the hand. All right. So you can have that. Oh dear. This doesn't build well. Nope. Oh, double deer. Uh, right. Huh. Uh oh. I'm not doing. Oh, that's not me. It's just as we feared. Zor's new device appears to have the power to affect gravity. You don't say! We must destroy that machine. Okay. Um. What does this do? Okay. Huh. Aligned. Alright. Not a lot. Oh, okay. So is that good? Is that bad? I think that's good. Yeah, that seems pretty aligned. Okay. Crystal waveform not aligned. Yes, it is. It's perfectly aligned. It seems it seems great. Right? That, that's pretty tight. Oh, oh. Aligned. There we go. Okay. So just need a little tweak. Good. Hmm. Something tells me that I want to break it and not fix it, right? So we probably don't want to be aligning them perfectly. So what if I take you out and put in a purple one, right? Purple's bad, so... Oh, so we're just going to align you just right. Careful. Oh, oh, oh. Crystal unstable. There we go, unstable. Aha! Machine malfunction. Good! Laser defense mode one. Laser defense. Whoa. Zor certainly knows you're there now. We're sending a helicopter to extract you. That machine must be destroyed before it arrives. Is it a laser copter made of mirrors? Because I don't see how that's going to help me. Um, what if I just... Okay. Yeah, I can deal with that. Sure, why not? Uh, next. Number two. Green. All right, screw you. We're just going to... Pop in another unstable one. Boop. Oh, we got multiple dials now, so I can change the length. 
And the height. Crystal unstable. Good, good, good. Everything is under control. They, oh, come on. Your helicopter's arrived, but it can't get close until you destroy that machine. That's great, man. I'm, I'm just going to be down here if anybody needs me. Okay. Yeah, that's easy enough. I mean, he's the one ruining his place, right? <laughs> Next. Gonna grab myself a purple. You can get out of here, blue. And boop. Now, uh, we gotta line them up. And we're going to get the. Oh, this is gonna be complicated. Oh, okay. No, we're, we're close. Stop that. Stop that, lasers. Uh, oh my god, this is so finicky. Yes. Nope. Nope. Yes. 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 It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I don't want my face too close to it. Having an anti-gravity machine explode next to you seems like a bad idea. Ooh, nicely done. There's nothing like an explosive finish to foil a villain's plans once and for all. Now, grab that retrieval line, and we'll get you out of there. Oh, I'm coming, all right. Let me just, uh... There we go. Okay, and away we go! <laughs> that was awesome! Oh my god, that took me 20 minutes! It's a shame to see such a lovely large ruin like that. Especially considering we had to cut the large reward program I told you about earlier. It turns out we don't have the budget to hand out lodges all willy-nilly. Still though, well done. Hugh, what is it with you in lying to me? First the vacation, now the room? I'm not working for free, dude! Come to think of it, that took so long I because news, I never died. As everyone knows, you are my third favorite field operative, and as such, I managed to find some money in the budget for that vacation you always mention after nearly dying. Grab the new reel in the door, and we'll be off and running. Ooh, I get to go on vacation! Oh, this is the DLC! So this came out after the base game, Vacation First Class. Okay, that's really interesting, but I want to get some of these souvenirs. So I got Styling Agent for putting on that hat at the very end. Uh, Molotov, Flying Saucer, Dapper Bear, okay. I think I get some of these. So let's begin with the Dapper Bear. So I should be able to just... <laughs> I've always found animals and clothing to be simply unbearable. Oh, come on, dude. I'm the the right to bear arms was enough pun for one episode. I kind of wish that I could put the hat on the deer, but I mean that that would just be ridiculous, right game? Close enough. Next was burning crystals, which should just be what it sounds like. Right? Just burning crystals. Oh, maybe I need to burn the unstable ones? I don't know, let's put one of every crystal in, just to be certain. Let's just get you nice and toasty before I open this, shall we? Can I just lay that there? Yeah, that's perfect. Now... Mmm, nope, don't think so. <laughs> that looks amazing! I love it. Okay, we're fine, we're good. So, what did I need in here exactly? I'm trying to figure out how to open that again. Oh, it was this! Right, okay, so I should be able to burn you, right? Unstable? Yep. I've noticed you can't resist burning most things you find. To be honest, it's an unsettling quality. Yeah, well, you know, it's VR. What can you do? I had the whole room on fire moments ago. Next was Molotov, which I guess would just be burning this. I don't think I can stick anything in it. There it is. It's fine. I won't reprimand you for destroying a decanter of 16-year-old single malt scotch. It doesn't bother me. Okay, no need to get passive-aggressive. You were the one that's saying that it's weird that I like to burn stuff, so obviously I had to burn more stuff. What else did I need to do? Oh, that's right. The final one was Flying Saucer, which I assume is just me throwing this? Throwing things like a frisbee in VR is weird. No, that doesn't work. What about this? Ooh. Flying saucer right through the window. Right right through all the windows. <laughs> that worked. I'm holding you accountable if we get called back here to investigate reports of flying saucers. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, so everything except for the speed run, which I can only imagine must be ridiculous for this level. This took 18 minutes. How am I going to do it in two? But I think that's going to be it for this episode of I Expect You to Die, guys. And I would take a shot at the speed run right now, but I can already feel my eyes just losing it playing VR for so long. It's not as comfortable as it might seem for some people. It gets really strenuous, but fortunately, I get to make another episode. I wasn't sure if this was going to be the final episode of I Expect You to Die or not, because this was the final mission, but we still have the Vacation DLC. So if you guys want to see another video where I try to speed run the cabin and do the DLC mission, then be sure to let me me know. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.